we asked our online churchy friend group to guess which one of these women is married to a preacher. These ladies are moms, business owners, prayer warriors, and more. But wait, who's the preacher's way? Watch to the end to find out. Sure. Oh, I can't get up here and pretend. All right, oh, all right. oh, okay. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Some of them took a little too long. Delay, delay, right? <laughs> delay. Gotta do the next time. I don't know what you come to do. I don't know what you come to do. I came to figure out which one of y'all preaches life. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's guess who we think is the preacher's wife. Preacher's wife. Which, is, which number? One, two, three, four, or five? I'm going to go with number... Hmm. I don't know. Who y'all thinking? I will, honestly, my heart is like drawn to like just the energy, kind of like the this last half of the group. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one just yet is like mm -hmm. the last half. But like the new age first lady. So the new, new age, age first lady. Ah. Good day. Good That's how day. they come to church now. <laughs> this is like, yeah. Uh, so number four. Uh, you going number four? No, I'm I'm going with. I was gonna do that. Oh no. I'm gonna go with number three. Number three. I think number two. Okay. Mm. Who you got, Marcellus? Mm. Two plus two equals. <laughs> four. <laughs> All right, let's do right. four. Marcellus said four. I said two. And Eric three. said three. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Okay. So starting from number one to number five, can we get your name? And what do you do for a living? Yes. Hello, everyone. Again, my name is Alicia Moore. Not only am I a wife, a mother, but I also own a beauty supply store called Chosen Beauty in Glassboro, New Jersey. Oh, nice. Okay, number two. My name is Takira Simon. I am a content creator and a personal stylist. My name is Maristel Jones. I am a mom, a wife, personal trainer, yoga instructor, and I own a gym. Mm. Hi, everybody. My name is LaDonna Allen. I'm a wife, a mother of three, and I own an event planning business called All in the Design. My name is Erica Avery. I'm a wife, a mother of three, and I am an influencer and I have my own women's ministry. I said mm -hmm. two plus two plus one. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the left. Start with number one. Number one. How did your husband propose to you? He proposed to me at my mother's house on Christmas Day in front of all of my family, and I nearly lost my mind. Aww. Ooh. Oh, Christmas. That's, That's nice. Sweet. I like that. How about you, number All two? All right, number two. We were in Atlantic City at Ocean's Casino. And it was Never fun. mind. I take mm. my... I take my... Why are you trying to play me? Yeah. They were watching the final, NBA finals. NBA finals. Because it wasn't that romantic. <laughs> like, it was during the pandemic. So, you know. Whatever. Okay, I okay. got you. I got you. So, at the casino... Fireworks. Just in the room. Oh, just in the room. Because you know we can't go nowhere. Okay, I got you. Okay. Mm. All right. How about you, number three? We were on a family vacation with family, and we got down on one knee and proposed in front of everybody. Oh, that's mm. sweet. Where y'all at, number three? Where? Yeah. We were in a um, on my thirtieth birthday in Vegas. Ooh, nice, nice. Okay, how about you, number four? At home over chicken and waffles. At home over chicken over and waffles. Okay, waffle. okay. I like that. Like, no. I like that. Shoot, like, feed me. I know that's right. <laughs> Question is, who cooked? He did? Yes, he did. Oh, yeah. He, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, then, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. That's yeah, a good one. That's a keeper. Take out, he didn't do order. Yeah, 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 right. He didn't take it out. All right. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Number five. He proposed in a park that um, was my favorite park when I was in college, and I used to go there and study. Um, so he took me to my favorite park and got down on one knee and asked a question. Oh, that's very romantic. I like that. I'm stealing like, all these ideas. <laughs> they go grip with the right. one. <laughs> Vegas chicken and waffles, chicken and, waffles. and at the park. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, there you go. go. We're wrap it up all, all together. together. All right. You randomly wake up in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. Mm. All right, 3 a.m. Not because the TV is too loud, but because... You feel the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> what what happens after that? What happens after it's 3 a.m., the Holy Spirit, a little prayer, dream, or something like that? What happens next? All right, let's go with number four. Wake my husband up. Okay, wake him up. Wake my husband up. Mm hmm. 
Because it's his problem at three. That's his problem at three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I can't sleep. We all up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's cool. That's cool. I like all that. right. How about, how about you, number three? I would wake my husband up, tell him what it was I was dreaming about, mm-hmm. and ask him what he thinks it means. Mm. Why would you ask him what he thinks it means? Is he a pastor or we'll, we'll get to that later? All right, number five. What, 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 what do you what do you say? Um, I would probably well two things. I would probably pray, um, and I pray in tongues, so I'll probably pray in tongues. I would also probably I have a um, what is it like a prayer? I mean a dream book. So I would look up some of the things in the book mm-hmm. and see what it meant, and then I guess. After the facts, I would ask him what he thought. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. okay. How about you, number two? I feel like I'm the only one that wouldn't wake my husband up because I have my own little prayer closet that I go to. Mm, Um, So at first, I'll probably lay there for a bit because sometimes I don't know what woke me up. But then, you know, you can hear God sometimes. So I go into my prayer closet and I'll do my own studying and meditation. How about you, number one? I would wait to wake my husband up. The first thing I would be like is, Lord, what is going on? <laughs> what are you, me? Why are you doing today? And then um, I would be, I would sit quiet to listen and hear what he has to say. And then I would wake my husband up and discuss with him what the Lord had put on my heart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have a general question. Did any of you meet your husband before he was a pastor? You could just do head nods. No, no. So he was not a pastor. We just got the answer, I think. <laughs> What's the question? Wait. No, no, no. Like you might have been, you might have been dating him, and then he became a pastor. No, but we trying to figure out which one is the pastor's wife. So now I'm supposed to answer that question. That's a trick question. Was that a trick question? Yes. Yeah, ask another. Ask another, ask another, ask another. All right. So ask another one. Where was that? That wasn't a trick question. My husband didn't get ordained until after. Yeah, that's. What I feel okay. like you can marry him and then okay, okay. he becomes a pastor. I think so. I think it is like on the line though. It's on the line, but go ahead, go ahead. Ask the question. That's one thing. Got you. All right, all right. I, I get competitive. <laughs> all right. General question again. Where do you sit in the sanctuary? Mm. And if it's not the front row, tell me why, please. I'll start with number one. I sit in the back. Ooh, could you explain why you sit in the back? Mm -hmm. Because I have three small, well, middle-aged children, and they're always on their phone. They're always being distracted, and it's important to me for me to stay focused with them and keep them off their phone. Number two? I sit on the second row. Mm -hmm. Why not the first row? Because that's the row that they use for, like, the handicap. Oh, okay. Okay, makes sense. Number three? I sit in the back as well. In the back. Why are you sitting in the back? I also have three young kids. My youngest is 16 months old. Mm. Hmm. Number five. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sit in the front row. Um, not in the center, though, on the edge, because I have to get up constantly throughout the service. Okay. And number four. Also in the back, I also have three children that I have to monitor. So we need to do is Children's Church. So they could be in the front. It's like, nah, everybody could be in the front. Everybody could be in the front. <laughs> Close to the guy. Did your opinions change yet? No. I think my opinion changed. No. I don't know who it changed to, but I think my opinion, my, my choice. All right. So give us your best sermonic solo. Ooh. You don't have, they have to sing it or you want they them to just. They got to sing it. <laughs> no, no. You could do like this. You could do like this. How would you introduce it? Like, if you were like, oh, come on to this, that's important, too. Like, yeah. if somebody got the little oil, they introduce it, get the whole, the, the spirit of the church yeah. high first. Introduce, and then yeah, sing, yeah, yeah. Introduce the song. Introduce the song. And that. then sing like a line. Because <laughs> you don't just come in and start singing, yeah. right? right? You got to say some you gotta words. You got to set the atmosphere. So you let's start see, singing. let's see you set the atmosphere, right? Yeah, I get, I get mad at the preacher first. Like, you know I want to do this. <laughs> and then you get up and start singing. <laughs> I don't know why he called me up I here, know, but again, right, I don't know why he there. called me up here, but yo, this up your alley for real, cause y'all, y'all cracking me up. Yeah. All right, go ahead. all right, let's start. Let's start with. Anybody want to answer this one? It could be a corporate song. It don't have to be like a sermonic solo. Hmm. Can we? Can we get a one? Is there a one? That's not my calling, baby. That ain't my calling. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. We'll move on to the next one then. That was funny though. 
Um, what do you do during a praise break at your church? That was a good one. Do you join in or do you just assist with everybody else? Trying to get the little, little like, general? Right. General general question? Question? Yeah, general. general. I close my eyes. I can't shout. You can't shout. You oh, just so wave. you just go in the worship. You just a wave your hand person. I got you. Yeah. Give God a wave offering. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I put my hands up and walk around the church and plead the blood of Jesus. Oh yeah. Oh, so you go into spiritual warfare? Yes. <laughs> I love. I love that. I yeah. love that. Spiritual warfare. I know that's right. Mm -hmm. I'm the dancer. I'm going yeah. clap. I'm going stomp my feet. I'm going. Yes. Give God a little <laughs> okay. two step. Okay. Yeah. Two step. Two step. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. I'm a sing and dance. Usually, I get my kids involved. Get your we're kids involved, yep. too. Yep. We're all I like in. That. I like that. Mm -hmm. yes. I am going to be praying in tongues and making sure that God is going to do what he wants to do in that moment. Yes. Mm. I love that. So she said she let her mouth talk. Mm -hmm. Yes. Spiritual Are you involved? That's all I got. All let me go number four. Are you involved in any other ministries at your church? Yes. I'm involved in a woman's ministry. The, you did say that. The woman's ministry. I anything, don't lead it. Anything. Number you, five leads it. I oh. assist. I'm an assistant. So okay. Oh. So hold up. Anything else? Number five. Or just oh, so y'all party. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Y'all part of the same church ministry. No. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. oh. Just a cool and kidding. <laughs> so, do you guys? What do you have? So, say if you're like, what type of sweets do you have in your pocketbook? What type of sweets? Is it like? If a little kid needed something, like oh my god, somebody another uh, member in the church needed. So the, what do you have in your pocketbook? This tells a lot. <laughs> it does. I'm talking about old ladies. I have fruit snacks. I have all the snacks that my children like, Oreo cookies. I definitely have gum, spearmint gum. I definitely have that. You have to have gum. Yeah. The new the age. Church, this, this is the new age, age church. Because yeah, our church. church back in the day, you wasn't allowed to chew gum. As soon as you put it in. Take it out. It out. I got a napkin. As so, okay. soon as you, they heard the rapping. Like, <laughs> right. They, yo, they, they used to wait, yo. They used to chew it, too. They used to wait. Right, just, they used to wait. <laughs> chew it a little bit. All right, now spit it out. There you go. Y'all got to learn to be the street. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's go true, with. True. I would love to be part of your church. You always got M&M's. Yeah. You want one more? Yeah, one more. I think I got a good one. Number five. What the? What's in my bag? Mm-hmm. Gum. But we can't chew gum in my church. Mm -hmm. So I got I got one more that I would like everybody to answer. Can you walk me through a Sunday morning routine getting ready for church? Put in the details that you deem are most important as a first lady, right, y'all? Okay. Number one. Well, first of all, um, I'm definitely getting up, making sure everyone's clothes is iron pressed. Um, making sure everyone um, tried. I try to match. Um, I think that's super cute. Mm. Uh, but I also make sure I wear uh, pantyhose if I'm wearing um, a skirt and make sure okay. my shoes and everything is um, together. Make sure my daughter's hair is done, son's hair is done, button up crisp. Uh, once we get done eating a light breakfast, um, then we all get dressed. By the time we live out, leave out the door, I'm probably hollering. And screaming because somebody then left the light on, left something on. And so I'm always like scrambling and um, just, it's usually chaos in the morning for mm -hmm. me. So once I arrive to church, I let everyone go in and I got to take a breather because I can't walk in with bad mm -hmm. energy, bad spirit. And you can Coming read it on my- Coming to praise. Uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, number one. You're welcome. Number two, are you ready? Yes, sir. All right. I wake up and I pray with my husband because we don't go to church at the same time because I take too long. Um, I have a two-year-old son, so I wake him up. Um, I was raised in a family where we don't do much cooking or any type of housework on Sunday, so we do it all on Saturday. So I give my son cereal or oatmeal or something like that. Um, my husband leaves and I get the son dressed and I get myself dressed because I got to do my makeup. Um, <laughs> I like it. I like it. Okay, make up. <laughs> um, and then we head to church. I'm, I, I get to church early, but my husband has to go ahead of time. Okay. Number three. So similar situation. My husband has to leave before we do. Um, so I'm usually the one dealing with the kids on a Sunday morning. I got my three girls. They're always running around. I usually end up yelling at them because we're running late. Um, but cooking them breakfast, mm -hmm. getting them all dressed up, doing their hair, getting myself presentable, and then head to church. Okay. Number four. Number four. Well, I might be the exception. I don't go to church on Sundays. 
I go to church on Saturdays. I want so to my see preparation starts from the Friday before. Uh, I'm preparing clothes, I'm preparing food, I'm preparing snacks, all the jazz. But on a Saturday morning, it starts with worship and prayer. Then I'm getting the kids up. Um, my two oldest are old enough to get themselves together, so I'm responsible for the youngest. After I get her situated, I'm doing makeup and hair. Then we out the door. Nice. Okay, number five. So, <clears throat> excuse me. My husband wakes up at like 5.30. Um, he, be, you know, showers and gets worship and get ready for the day. Um, he's downstairs, so that means that when we wake up, me and the kids, we have to be not quiet, but quiet because he's preparing for the service. So generally, I'll wake up earlier than them, pray a little bit, get in the shower, do my hair, my makeup, all that stuff, get them dressed and ready. We are all out the door by 8 a.m. Church starts at 8.30, church starts at 10. I think I've got some insight. All right, so um, we know that, like, back in the day, the, the church, your go-to church outfit would probably be different. But I wanted to see, what's your go-to, say if it's a regular, normal Sunday morning? I know he said that, but what would you normally wear to church? What would you normally wear? Um, I would normally wear a pair of dress slacks. Um, like, like something that you would wear to work, like an office attire with, um, a really nice blouse, earrings, you know, makeup and, uh, flat shoes. Okay. Number two. I like to wear dresses and blazers and then I also put on heels. Um, but I always have my Crocs with me too. She says she's a praiser. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got a phrase of income. <laughs> Consistent. Okay. <laughs> I used to wear a lot of dresses, but now that I got the three kids, I'm usually wearing comfy slacks, but something pretty dressy, a blazer as well. Mm -hmm. Number four? Honestly, it varies. The weather or how long I got to be in church that day. So dresses, slacks, it depends on the time of day. And number five? Um, we are a come as you are church. I mean, because my husband is the pastor, I don't wear like athleisure to church. But I mean, I like to get dressed. So whatever I'm, whatever the vibe is, whatever's trendy, I wear whatever I want. Mm -hmm. Heels, sneaks, whatever. It's last but not least, we about to do a, a shout a shout track, and we want y'all to play the tambourine. You could play the tambourine, or you could shout. We should we should get a put a chair. All that matters to stand up. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How you, you stand up matters, oh, no. <laughs> right? The quick and it matters. No, we don't have a chair. Do we have a chair? The quick and it matters. The quick and it matters. We want to see how you oh, quick no, in the spirit. It, all, all right, it. all of them. Come on, we about to we about to get y'all a chair because we really want. I thought we could do one or the other. One or the other. All right, which one? Are right, we about to? One or the other. I don't shout. You're right, not you a shout. shout right, so you. So how about praise, praise, praise break? How you praise God? You got to show us what you do. All right. Wait, I can't hear the music too well. Oh, she already okay. <laughs> that, that's giving the first lady a little bit. Okay. She said she is a shouter. She might have needed a tambourine. She is a shouter. I don't need a tambourine. All right, all right. You can, you can put the tambourine down. Right in the chair, right in the chair. I'm not an actress. I can't get up here and pretend. All right, all right. Oh, oh okay. That's all this bit. Yes. Uh huh. She might have convinced me. <laughs> she might have convinced me a she little said bit. She can't pretend. <laughs> uh huh. Not a tamarine person? I'm not. Are it. you a waiver? Right. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. You really study her show. <laughs> Come on, number four. Don't let me down. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. That's she got the, <laughs> the velocity in the divorce. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so come as you are, church. Come as you are, church. All right. We don't have no tambourines. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I don't shout, so I don't have neither for y'all. You got wave hand. All right, what you you a waver? I'm just gonna praise God and worship. Now there you go. Yes, there you go. In my church. I love so that. That's me. I know that's right. That's how you praise. That's how you praise. I like it. I was hoping that one of y'all was like really shout because I thought like number five was gonna take off the blazer and like use it as like a little skirt. That's what I thought. She was gonna cover, cover y'all up. 
That's what I was thinking. You cannot play with God, okay? <laughs> right, you, you can't play with God. You can't play with God. Like, you don't want to play. Yeah, I want to play. Like, can't play. It sounds like first. Who said that? I breathe it. Number two, that's play. what I... That's five and two said that, right? Yep, five and two said one play with God like that. That's why I said number two is the first lady. All right, so you I think number three. We're going to deliver right now. All right, All right. So who y'all who y'all got? I'll tell you who I got. I got number two or number four. That's those are my. What was your original? My original was three. Okay. But I'm going with two and four right now. You know what's crazy? Out of everybody that uh, in the beginning when you made your guess, you said number two, right? Yeah. She was the only one that made like a facial expression. Like they ain't no first ladies, like that type of first expression. It was something like that. <laughs> like she picked you, she was like, yeah. Like she gave you like a yeah. So I don't know. It was kind of like I don't know, bro. I don't mm-hmm. think she. I got lady. I got two or four. I don't think so. <laughs> Four and was I'm real kinda, consistent with her story, so. Yeah. But two. I say between, I said two, but now I'm thinking one. Mm. I'm thinking one. I still think the end, the two one. Five? Yeah, four or five. Four or five. Okay, so we not we going, we all saying no to three. Cause no, we, I honestly think, but she said she doesn't go to church with her husband, right? No, that's two. That was two. Right, they leave at different times. They leave at different times. This is hard. So let's eliminate oh. one and then keep eliminating all right. Oh, we all have to be on one accord with this? Yeah. We all got to be on one accord. I still, I still think it's the end. You say five? Uh, Who you got? You say one? Oh, we all over the place. <laughs> all right. I'm going to join I'm gonna join another team. You say five and you say one, right? Because I'm the only one with two options. All right. So I'm going to go. four or five? You said four or five. So I think four. You got four. I got four. So I, all right. Let's do four. I said, let me do five. I'm going to do five. Let's do five. But no, no, but they win though. <laughs> two, they win. They win though. All two, right, so two, uh, two and one. All two, right, so, so yeah, okay, so we voted for number four being the the first lady, but will the real first lady please step? Can y'all make it like more suspenseful? Like somebody step up, step back. Everybody step up, step everybody back. Everybody step up, step back. All right, so f- will the real first lady please step forward? <laughs> will she really step forward now? Yes. Oh, so y'all oh, both. Two. <laughs> Y'all Yo. married the same man? <laughs> so we were right. We were right. Four. Because I said one. It was four and one. Yeah. So we was right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. That was good. That was, that good. was, that was good. good. I was not expecting two. I wasn't expecting two. Got us. Got us. See it. That's awesome. This is our time to carry on. Did I get it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>